It's just a cool morning, an airish morning here in the mountains of Appalachia. Matt and I are out and about trying to see what we can get done today. We've got all the wood split uh, for the first load, so that's good. We're ready to get our second load coming. This morning, the first thing Matt's going to do is he's got some old pallets that they were going to throw away at work, and he's brought them home. He's going to cut them up for kindling. They make really good kindling. And most of the time when he uses a chainsaw, he we ha I think he has two chainsaw, ch chainsaws, Husqvarna. Husqvarna? Yeah. Okay, Matt was laughing at me earlier because I said Husqvarna. <laughs> he said that was like Granny saying Georgie. She was going over to Georgie. Anyway, Husqvarna. But one of them he bought originally when we first built our house all those years ago when all this was woods and he had to trim out a place, cut out a place to put a house seat. And then the other one somewhere along the way is a much bigger one he bought. And they work great. And he especially loves that, that big one, the really big one. But in the last few months, someone sent us a, a electric chainsaw. And it works really good. Matt was surprised. He really loves it for jobs like this. Now, the dear person that sent it to us, he's, have you ever had a friend who's a really, really good friend, but you've never met? Well, that's who this person is. He's been supporting us, me on the Blind Pig and the Acorn, uh, and then my channel here. He's even one of the people that suggested I do this, encouraged me, give me the, the thought about it, that I should really look into making videos like this. Uh, just a dear friend to our family, to all of us, not just me and Matt, but to Paul and Granny and Corey and Katie and Miss Cindy, he's been so good to us over the years, and we could never repay him for all the things he's done for our family. And that was just the latest thing, is that he sent this chainsaw. And when we opened, of course, he didn't tell us. And the day that I opened it, or Matt opened it, it was like, what in the world? And as soon as I looked at it, I thought, I know who sent that. And then sure enough, when I... Um, got in touch with him. He said he thought that we would be able to use it and he had one and he knew how well it worked and he knew that Matt would really love it and that even me or Corey or Katie could use it, of course, if we were very careful and all that. I've not used it and the girls have not used it, but Matt has really enjoyed it. Okay. No, I'm going to say it right now. Okay. Okay, Matt's about to start and he's already corrected me. He's over here listening. He's like, it's not an electric saw, it's a battery saw. So I said that wrong too with my Husqvarna and my electric instead of battery. So it is a battery saw. Matt's gonna show us how well it works. Well, we were on to our second job of the day, and Katie's forerunner won't crank, so the battery's dead, so Matt's going to have to jump it off before we can move it out of the way for our next job. For all the years uh, me and Matt's been married, he's always had jumper cables, but this is the first you got a, what do you call it, a jump pack? Mm -hmm. And this is the first time we've ever used it, so this will be fun to see. I'm at the keys are in my pocket, I think. I took them out. I'm not sure why.
comes the dreaded chore of what to put back on the porch. Of course, the things like the rocking chairs and the um, grills and our fish fryer where we do all of our canning, they're still up there. They've already, and then I don't think there's anything else that's been put back, maybe a little shelf. But this is kind of all the decorations that I had and some of the junk. So Matt thinks we should downsize and not put it all back. So I'm gonna make him help me go through through it and see what we can what we want to put back and what we don't and what we do want to put back I need to definitely make sure that we wash it because it's very dirty I usually do that about once a year but it looks like I've not done it this year for sure because it's really dirty dirty and dusty and things like dried uh, granddaddies on them so we'll have to go through them and see what what Matt insists on getting rid of and what I insist on keeping I guess Matt's shaking his head, laughing. Why? I have no say in it. He has, says he has no say. Hey, I'm going through it because you said you didn't want to put it all back. I don't care what you put back. Put it all back. I don't care. Well, it does look, it is me and Matt both been like, wow, this is nice with a really open porch, nothing on it but the rocking chairs and the grill. Pretty nice. And the fish fryer. But I can't think of here. All right, well, come over here and help me figure it out. So that was the girls made this years ago. I don't. I'm going to ask them if they want it, and if they don't, it's got Corey Presley on it. So, or you're eating. You had to go in and get sustenance. I'm starving to death. So we'll say, you know, this one for sure is going to go back. Can you lean it up over there. That one's going to. We have to put back, this is all the stuff that went on that little shelf. I gotta put that stuff back. This hung on the wall, so it's gotta go back. I need to let you finish eating before I start handing you stuff, Donna. A lot of these little boards like this, they are old, but I set my plants on them so that just kinda to protect the porch. When Corey and Katie was little and Matt worked building houses we would go to a job site and get the scrap pieces i guess that was a cap was probably cabinets mm -hmm. and then we would bring them home and create what corey and katie called it and we would paint and then we would seal them with something so you can see i think corey did this one of course it don't have a name on it but i'm pretty sure she did that was when she was really little finger painting but i want to put that one back and that one Another thing we used to do a lot was to, um, is that we would gather rocks. Of course, we're a rock family, you know that, but they would paint rocks. So here's one that says Katie, a little face. This one's funny, Matt. Come look at this one. This one is Ashley, Ashley Furniture, double zero, Johnny Chastain. That must have been during the racing days. When, racing phase. Yeah, racing phase. That was a, I don't know what that is, but that can... That can leave here. Where's our leave here pile? I don't know. You've got to start one. Yeah, I started over by the basement, I guess. <clears throat> More painted rocks here. Wait before you go. I don't even know what those are. Put those in the leave here pile. Uh, of course, the rocks are sitting in a, a giant ashtray that probably come from Granny's house, one of those old green ashtrays, and it needs to be cleaned. There's another rock, so we're going to keep this one. Keep that. That was another... No, that one's pretty bad, ain't it? Should I get rid of that one? Yeah. Okay, get rid of pile. And then, I'm not sure where we come up with this at. Matt, do you remember? That could probably be used for kindling or something. Well, it looks, I think it was something I cut off of a stump splitting wood years and years ago and you decided you wanted to keep it. Yeah, get rid of it. And burn it. We'll burn it, yeah, we can burn that one. So, let's see. This was actually a piece of old barn wood that uh, it did have a little girl on it that Granny decorated, but it's fell apart over the years. So I don't know what I should do with that one. I'll have to go in a maybe pile. Here's a, a birdhouse that the girls made at some point. So that's a keeper. These were keepers. This old crock, I've got my, I put that bowl down in it, I can't get it out. That's my little wooden bowl, which is really dirty, but that's a keeper. 
this is a crock that's no longer good. I mean, it's cracked, so you can't use it. And I actually have flower seeds in it, so I guess we'll put that back. Woo, if I don't fall over. This thing is Katie's Rocks. I wonder if we should get rid of it. I could put it out in the yard maybe somewhere. Yeah, that's what I'd do with it. Put it out in one of your little gardens and yeah. use it decorative <coughs> instead maybe. of getting rid of it. What about this? Is this keeping? Yeah, I don't know. It was a maybe. So, let's see. Where would I put this? Oh, it's just so leave it heavy. there and I'll move it. Well, I mean, where you want it. Just wherever you think. Set it right there for now. Katie would have to go through it and check out the rocks. Yeah. So this is a little homemade table somebody's made. And I got it at a yard sale one time. So I've had it with those my collection of big bottles, old bottles. That's where they were sitting on top of it. So that's a keeper with the bottles. Here's some somebody's slingshot, which is totally dry rotted. Maybe you could re replace it. I don't know. There's more stuff that went on the it's a knot out of a tree, which is neat. I say take that in there and put it on Katie Presley's space and let her deal with that one. And over the years, there's so many treasures that we've collected places. That one, uh oh, I dropped it. But like that, probably from an old home place where we were, you know, who even knows what it was? Whoops. There's a little, I don't really know what that is either, but I like it more. That was an axe, obviously, that rusted away. Yeah, that comes from up the creek. Yeah. <coughs> what is that? A big railroad spike. railroad spike. Another, I don't know. It's part of an old uh, plow, horse drawn plow. Rotted away, and I don't know what this is. An arrow that somebody, one of your children, made oh. out of barbed wire, a piece of scrap housewood. Mm -hmm. Kind of neat, kind of weird. <laughs> Just an old horseshoe or a oxen shoe or whatever. Mm -hmm. Did they shoe oxen? I don't think so. so probably a horse, mule, maybe. That's a big one, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Pretty big. I wonder if that still works. Uh -huh. The problem is, I don't know if it's one of mine that you can put in food or if it's one of hers that she put in her soap. I say no put it on Corey Presley, Corey Graddock's yeah. soap table here, and this is garbage because I don't even know what that is. It came out of the toaster oven. No, more rocks, Ghost Town painted on that one. and uh, This one's neat, G-O-D, God, set your crosshairs. Corey or Katie one did that one. So, okay, all that stuff's going to go back in our treasure container, I guess. Now, on this one, this is a, just a bottle. can go with those. Let's see. This was several years ago at Christmas. People got me. I don't know if it was just everybody got the same thing for me or what, but signs to put on the house. Miss Cindy got some of them, but I never did put them because I was like, I'm not hanging them until I on my porch until I get it stained. So this one's when pigs fly, which is pretty neat. So Matt's gonna have to, you're saying oh joy about these, ain't you? Happy days. Yeah, rooms for a song. I don't know where I got that one. If that was that same Christmas. I bought this one recently, welcome, because I knew I was gonna do all this. I don't know if I want it hung on the porch or on the inside or on the back side of the house. I don't guess it would last on the back side though. This little one just says joyful. I like that. And this one says, home sweet home. And of course, it's got the pig. Everybody knows I like the pigs because of the blind pig and the acorn. There's some wind chimes. I'll have to put those back for sure. Something that the girls made eons ago. It's been hanging out there forever. Looks like I've tangled it all up, though. Made it out of shotgun shells, empty shotgun shells or spent, how do you say that? Ones that have been shot. 
this was a, I need to put this in the yard somewhere. This was a, out of, when Pap died, this was in one of the flower arrangements somebody got me. That's where that come from. So I need to stick it somewhere in my garden would be a good idea for that too. So that emptied that box. And now this don't have to go back on there. This, this big wash tub come from Miss Cindy's house where she lives um, when she moved in and it has a lot of outbuildings. She found it in the outbuilding. It's really in great shape and we've used it to put various things in, but that house was built in 1937 where she lives, which I'm sure it's not that old, but it's just it was just a home place for the same family for many, many years. Uh, so anyway, but we're gonna put it in the basement. It's not gonna go back. This little basket, I really use it a lot until there's another, that kind of, that one's broke. It's kind of seen the better days, I guess it can work. Uh, use it a lot to harvest things in until, so Granny gave me this, her and Pap strung all these together and she was going to make a wreath out of them. And it was kind of, it was wrapped around like a styrofoam thing and it had come apart and anyway, so I said, well, I want it since you and Daddy did that but I've put it in this basket and that's all I've done with it. So that needs to be a project for this winter to make it into a wreath and actually hang it up somewhere. But they gathered all these and then they, you know, drilled holes in them, Pap did, and then they strung them on there and put them on the wreath. Uh, and it was pretty, I'm sure, the first year or two that Granny had it. She probably put it out at Christmas and then somehow over the years, the styrofoam got all broke up. But maybe I can put them on something. I need Matt to help me figure that out. So I definitely want to keep them. And then all that's left is this. And I don't even, I'm afraid to even know what's inside it. There's another metal treasure find. American soldier, that must have been Katie. I see a rock. It's also got lots of pine cones in it big pine cones, bed springs from our treasures, treasure hunt, pine cones, pine cones, and more bed springs. When you're a family that likes old treasures, this is what happens. There's a M, probably for Matt. No, it's for me, Mom. It's got on the back turtle shell I don't think we need. More pine cones, bed springs. And this is what's so heavy. I was thinking, how could that be that heavy? I'm even afraid to know what this is. Oh, well, shouldn't I have been able to guess? Katie Presley? It's rocks. It's a huge bag of rocks. There's another slingshot. Am I in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. It's just I thought you were right there in the basement. I heard you because I'm in the window. Oh. Found a bag of rocks. I was wondering why this was so heavy. There's a really pretty <laughs> plate. Somebody's handmade. A long time ago. We literally have so much stuff. Hey, what's the rocks look like? I don't know. I just kept wondering why this thing was so heavy. There's a golf ball. I guess we need that. Been playing golf. But we will put the barrel back because then we put one of those, one of these, one of the bigger ones, and then that's our coffee table, our table in between our chairs. So. I don't know what kind of rock, Katie. Probably from years ago. Yeah, she don't even remember they were in there. But that's easy. We'll we'll let her do that. Well, now that we've sorted it out, I guess we'll clean it all up and then put it back. And that concludes this episode of Hoarders. <laughs> yeah. Look at the pile over there. And look at this pile. <laughs> well, I need this stuff. I okay. like it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I got rid of like six things and kept the rest. <clears throat> yeah. Oh well.
Okay, we got it all put back together. I think it looks much better. And it's so nice for it to be stained and cleaned. We did downsize some. I was able to get my, my some of my signs that I've had, some of them for two years hung, which is really nice. Got all my bottles cleaned up. When we get a Christmas tree every year, I take some of the branches that we trim off and put out here, kind of welcomes people as they come in this side of the house. Matt moved the, he'd already done this before today, but he moved the, the black stone and the fish cooker that we can on a lot. He'd moved them down a little bit because he said they were right in the door right where we had them for so many years. And I think it is better kind of down there. So it's not just in the entryway as you come in. So we got this part right at the entryway cleaned up and looking better. Definitely made this less cluttered by taking away some of the stuff that had been here. This end of the porch, of course, is where we spend the most time in the rocking chairs and in the swing, so it looks better. Put some of my same stuff back, my folk art that I painted so many years ago, if the daisies only told. And then we also put my other new, new signs up there, and Matt was happy. I didn't make him drill one hole or hammer one nail. We just used nails that was already there from different things we've used over the years. In this little corner, we had the bench inside. We hadn't carried it off the porch. We just put it inside because it's heavy. But that's where I set my dehydrator in the summer. So I was glad to get it back. I've been having my dehydrator inside the kitchen and even on the back deck yesterday, I had it out there. Got our cushions were already put back because we've already been using the swing, of course. And I managed to untangle the shotgun shell creation one of the girls made so long ago. They probably remember who made it. I don't know, though, for sure if it was Corey or if it was Katie. And I'd already hung some of my birdhouses back. That's a birdhouse that a, a dear blind pig reader made for me many years ago, and she painted the whole outside of it. It's just beautiful. Little designs on each side. I don't think a bird's ever lived in it, but it's pretty. And I'd already put this chair back because I've already sat in it and read uh, one portion of the Alex book I'm reading. So it was already back. Although I don't know what happened to my cushion. I can't find it anywhere. So I'm going to have to find it. And I went ahead uh, right after they finished staining and put back up my wind chimes because I love to hear them. Got a new kind of popsicle to try. What is it? This is watermelon. Oh, it is. Yeah. It's pink. Smells like bubble gum. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah. It don't taste like watermelon. You think so? Tastes like a Jolly Rancher, rancher, watermelon. Don't it? Ain't that what it tastes like? Sort of, yeah. Yeah, this is not my favorite. They're all good. Mm-hmm. I don't know, peach or grapes probably my favorite. You like the toenails or the suntan oil? Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it too. I like the grape or the raspberry the best. Mm-hmm. So as you can see behind us, fall is here in the mountains of Appalachia. The colors and the trees have really come on in the last week, haven't they? Yeah. They're really beautiful. <clears throat> They're going to peak early. Mm -hmm. They are going to peak early. A lot of them have already fell off. We've yeah. had wind and rain, and I think because it was so dry, maybe, or the cold that we've had, colder than usual earlier, earlier cold. But yeah, lots of them have, you know, all you gotta do is look around us. There's lots of, lots of leaves. I noticed when I went down, I had to take Granny to the doctor this week, and when I went down her driveway in my car, it was just a solid leaves mm -hmm. from that walnut tree and those trees down her driveway. And 
and the forecast is for us to have temperatures in the 20s, low 20s, which is crazy for this time of the year. Yeah, I know, you love it. I love it. So that's like Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday or something like that. It's like three or four days in a row in the low 20s. We'll see if it happens. It may not happen, but... I may come out here in the yard and waller like a dog. Yeah, you probably will. I love it. We still haven't built a fire, but we definitely will before then. And Matt got us that good candle, and that little saw works pretty good, don't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it does good. It works real good in the woods, trimming shooting lanes. Yeah, trimming trees, <laughs> well, shooting lanes, but... Uh, trimming out around the place deer hunt, it'll work really good. Work good, too, just trimming around the edge of the yard on mm -hmm. our banks that are a never-ending project. Mm -hmm. Handy little tool. Yeah, we're so thankful to our good friend that sent it to us. Mm -hmm. The first fire will feel good. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to smell it. We still hadn't had a big frost here, though. Friday morning. When I left, it was before daylight, just like Matt. Usually, I'm not, don't leave in the dark, but I didn't notice, <coughs> excuse me, any frost here. But on my way back home, I had to come, I went to town, I had to come back through Martin's Creek, and there was frost I could see in the fields. And then I asked Matt, was it frosted when you, did it frost at our house? But he said maybe just a tiny bit on his windshield, but not much when he left way before daylight. Mm -hmm. But it was definitely frost over in Martins Creek, which is not far, maybe because we're a little bit higher up. It's funny how climates, you can have these mini climates too, like that. Mm -hmm. But I could see out in the field around Billy Stiles' farm, it was just white, the fields were. It was a big frost at our, at our shop out in the field by, by our shop, it was white. Mm-hmm. It's not right here. All these little bugs flying around our face. They're, it's almost <clears throat> done for them, ain't it? They better enjoy it while they can. Mm -hmm. They drive me crazy, but they don't have long. Yeah. Really feels good to get the porch put back together. Yeah. We've just left it. We've been sitting in the swing. I had been. I don't know if Matt's been out there sitting. We've cooked out there. But the rocking chairs were still back to back where you couldn't sit in them and none of the stuff was put back right. So at least that's a chore completed. Mm -hmm. And it looks better. Yeah, it looks much better. You do fine work, dear. Thank you. You do too. The past, just the past couple of years, I've noticed on the porch when in the spring or in the winter, either like when I'm sweeping the leaves off because the leaves fall on it, I've noticed that, and it's unusual, it never happened before, but the little stink bugs try to hide behind anything. If it's like one of my things that hanging on the wall or something sitting up against the wall or under a basket, that's where they congregate to try to overwinter. So, Corey calls them backpackers. She says they look like they've got a backpack on. So this year, the little backpackers, maybe, maybe they've already tried to find them somewhere and they won't try to find their place on our porch. I took the cover off the grill the other day and they were all under it. Oh, were they? So they still yeah. were. They just yeah. didn't have all my stuff to get yeah. behind. Yeah. Mm. You never seen those years ago. Oh. I mean, you might see one, at, I knew what a stink <coughs> bug was, but they were never like they are now. No, I don't remember seeing them that many. Uh-uh. I never remember seeing them in the house or on the house. No. Maybe it's a um, different variety, like a non-native one that's took over. Could be. When we were working, I got warmed up, and now that we've stopped and we're eating a popsicle sitting in the shade, I'm getting cold. Are you? I vote we carry the popsicles all the way through the winter. <laughs> Come out here in the winter I can and do sit. It. You can, can do can it. You do I, it? I don't know. Yeah, you can do it. You're tough. Mm. <clears throat> we could. 
If it snows, we should at least come out and have a popsicle. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I hope it snows. I do, too. We've not had much snow in the last two years. I don't yeah. think it snowed one big snow last year, none. Or the year before, did it? A little bit the year before, but not, not many much. last year. But I'm hoping this change in weather, like all through the summer, it's, it has been a different summer. It's more like it used to be because mm -hmm. it's been much drier than usual for the past, what, I don't know, like four years. It's like you <clears> needed <throat> to build an ark or something. I mean, it's just been unbelievable moisture. Yep. And I, during that time, the, like the first year, I was like, well, that's good because this winter, I know it will we'll get snow, but it didn't equal no. out like that. No, it rained all summer and then dried up. Yeah. And all winter and it was or it cold, would be, but it didn't do anything. Yeah, or it would just be a warm rain in right. the winter. I mean, like a warm enough and it just be rain in the winter. But anyway, maybe this year it's switched back. And since we've had a much drier summer, it'll we'll actually get snow. I don't know. <coughs> we sound like those old people, but... We are those old people. We are those old people <laughs> that say, when I was a kid, it snowed yeah. all the time. But it did. It seems yeah. like it. We. I remember, I remember being out of school for over a week. Yeah. Walked uphill to school yeah. both ways. Yeah, yeah we, I was out of school in the 70s. I, we was out of school for over 30 days straight. That was fantastic. I loved it. But it was cold. It snowed and... I don't know, 8, 10, 12 inches of snow, and then it turned off cold, bitter cold, yeah. and it stayed cold for a month. It didn't get above freezing. That was, um, I don't remember what it's called, but there's some, because it was so cold throughout lots of the south. Yeah. That's the, that was <coughs> the years that our um, gravity water froze, yeah. stayed froze for so long, yeah. and me and Paul, Paul would help Pap, or we wouldn't help him. We'd just go with him when he thawed it out. We loved it when he would finally get it thawed out enough and he would blow into the pipes and these chunks of ice would come out. Yeah. It was like popsicles. Yeah. Even then, I liked popsicles. Mm -hmm. But we played around. the. He, of course, would build fires, and we played ar around them, and somehow we got poison oak and burned it, and Paul got poison oak in the middle of the winter. Yeah. But that was the same time there was like a, uh, I can't remember, Daddy could, Pap could tell me the story because he was trucking in those days, but somewhere in Ga near Gainesville, Georgia, like a, I don't know if it was a water thing that burst or whatever, and before they could get it fixed, because it was so cold, this big ice dam built up mm -hmm. on a bridge or something. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that was, yeah, like I said, it was cold and it snowed a lot when we were young. Yeah. <laughs> now we're old. Yeah. <clears throat> I enjoyed it. In the Alex Stewart book I'm reading, which you've read it before too, but you probably forgot this, I had, there's a part in this most recent that he talks about the winters, and he's like, well, when it was cold, when it used to get cold in the winter, it don't get cold now. Yeah. And so he was even saying that, because, you know, yeah. it was interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe your memory changes it as you get older. Yeah. I guess it does. Yeah. You have less of it. <laughs> oh, I do for sure. I wish I had a memory like, don't, don't like work as good. Uh, Mrs. Hicks. She can oh, remember sure. exactly where somebody lived, who they were, who they married, who their in-laws was, what happened to them, what the neighbor said. She can remember every detail. She's mm -hmm. got like this perfect memory. Yeah, she's... And I'm like, what was I going to do? Yeah. What did I? Do? What was I come in here for? What was I going to do? <clears throat> yeah, she's the best. She is. She's an amazing lady so privileged that I've got to know her and talk to her. Mm -hmm. We already knew her family was amazing though, oh, yeah, from folks. her granddaughter Jamie and her mm -hmm. son Melvin. We already knew that. Good as I can. Yeah. This is the first Saturday, and I don't know when, that I don't have to go in and put up food. There's nothing waiting on me inside. I put up the last of the peppers and the two squash that I had, cushaws that were going bad yesterday. There's nothing waiting on me. Ain't that amazing? It's kind of sad. It is. This time of the year, you're like, wait a minute, I don't have to go do stuff outside and then go inside and can or put up or whatever the rest of the day. But that's good. Have nothing you you stack on. wood then. Yeah. <laughs> Carry wood in. We need to do yeah. that. We do need to do that. Yeah. We do need to do that. Get ready for our Arctic blast that's coming. Mm -hmm. It's almost time to get some squirrel meat. Yeah, when does squirrel season open? Monday. Monday, oh wow, well it is time for sure. Mm -hmm. 
I've been watching them <clears throat> out the window. When I wash dishes, I can see them getting the acorns and up and down, and up and down, and mm -hmm. up and down. And these trees right here are loaded. They acorns. are loaded. I think that's the most I've ever seen on those. Yeah, you they, think so? Uh, yeah. They Where they fell off in our uh, gardens down there. It's just like walking <clears> on marbles. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've not really been far up in here to see if it's like that up there, but mm -hmm. down here low, it is. there's lots of them. Lots of mass this year. Mm -hmm. I've not been in the woods hardly any, and that's bad well, for once, me. Why don't you remedy it? Yeah. Go get us some squirrels on one day after work in that might, cold weather. I might just after work go up here and sit till dark and get some. What are you supposed to do? Wait till after it frosts or something on them? It's good, I think it is, to frost a couple of times to kill the if they've got wolves. And so explain that to somebody that don't know. It's basically a parasite or a worm. Yeah, and it just kind of burrows in the, their skin, and it's um, kind of unsightly. And it's, once it frosts on it a couple of times, I, it's just like a... I don't know if it's a fly larva. I don't even really know what it is. I just know that it's... Not all squirrels have them, but some of them do. And, and once it frosts a couple of times, it kills them. And they just go away. Hmm. Uh, it's no fun trying to skin one with with one of those in it, and it's moving, and it's uh, kind of freaky. It's like something off the sci-fi. Gross. <clears throat> yeah. But a couple of good frosts, and they're gone. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll wait till like Tuesday or Wednesday or something. Or maybe it might be. Maybe it's frosted up there and not down right yeah, here. I don't maybe. know. I don't maybe. know. Squirrel and dumplings is mm. what we need to eat. That'd be good. I'd love to try to can squirrel. Well, we will. If I can get enough of them. Yeah. Should be able to, as many as there is. Mm -hmm. and Matt, lots of people have been asking. Matt's not got a deer yet. He's not harvested a deer, but hopefully soon. Yeah, it won't be long. I'll be taking off a few days to see if I can get one. Yeah. Here's somebody shooting in the distance now. It's more yeah. like practice or yeah, target just, practice or something. Yeah, they're just shooting. Expensive as bullets are, I've stopped doing that. <laughs> I want to mm -hmm. keep what I've got. Expensive and kind of scarce. Yeah. really peaceful today. It is. Nice day. Of course, I say that every time we sit out here, but once you actually sit down and kind of just relax and listen, it's very peaceful. When you're hurrying back and forth doing <coughs> stuff, you don't notice it as much. Yeah, all you can hear is crickets in the creek yeah. and wind and the fall leaves a little bit. Yeah. Chickens are even being quiet, which is unusual. Mm -hmm. Must not be egg laying time. Three of them's molten. Yeah. So they're probably not laying. They're not. I think I got two eggs yesterday. I seen the feathers and I thought somebody's been in a fight or somebody's molten. They molten. They better hurry it up. Yeah, and grow them some <laughs> grow them ones. some new ones. Yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed spending this fall day with us. It's just beautiful in the mountains of Appalachia this time of the year. Of course, I think it's beautiful every time of the year, all, all the time. I think that's one of the highlights of living in Appalachia is the beautiful landscapes from the, you know, towering mountains to the deep, dark hollers. I love it all. I love it all. But as always, we hope you'll just keep dropping back by to help us celebrate Appalachia.